Welcome to the Whitetail Legacy Podcast. And we get the back view of him. And I mean, it's just a mega. 52 yards is a long shot. Uh, Magnum P.I. is what yeah. we named him. No idea. Just but, a magnet. Yeah, just a magnet. Come on, Cam, last year we, we said probably 150, mid-150. Yeah. Same Doe from the morning come out with that nine-pointer. Here, here steps out this 90-inch eight-pointer. You're like, <laughs> yeah. ah. I'm like, okay, well, there's still a buck back there grunting. Yeah. And then I'll step like another 90-inch eight-pointer. Yeah. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. You're like. <laughs> I'm like deer right there. Yeah, like and he's 30 already yards. thirty yards. Yeah, he he was literally five yards from the base of the tree. Could have been had a buck down at one forty in the afternoon, back there deep on public. Three does come out pretty early. It was like 245, 24 yard shot. Sent the combat veteran, and I tell you what, man, dude, it just smoked. We always get so jacked up when the other person kills. It's it's almost like we got it done. Yeah. And when you killed that doe, I was like, hell yeah, man. And we come down here to Missouri. My ass called me one more time. I'm like, is it a good buck? And he goes, yeah, real good, solid buck. I'm like, all right, boom. <laughs> and the deer just drops for sure. Super special to me. Whitetail Legacy Podcast, bringing you back to the hunt and leaving a legacy. Baller rut. This is the Whitetail Legacy Podcast coming in softly in your ear holes for this third day because we are mm. wore out already. <laughs> um, third day of this ain't no picnic. Absolute ta- terrible. Absolute terrible. Yeah, but. today was no picnic. That is 100% fact. 100%. Uh, we'll get into what happened, what we've seen, what where we messed up, what we did. Uh, but first, we're going to get into who makes this possible. That's Exodus Trail Cams. If you guys don't follow them on YouTube, check them out. Um, they have a ass load of good talk content. They just released one about white oaks and red oaks. Yes, that was awesome for me. Like I know a lot. You know, I knew some about it, but I learned. I know a lot more now because I watched that. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that guy was like tasting them. I did that in my yard. I was oh, like, yeah? oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> huge difference. So nice. Yeah, yeah. One thing about their channel is they just have a different array of content. You know, they got the white tail cribs. Um, they're running out, you know, their gear setups for this year, the informational videos that they're putting out, like this Oak video we're talking about. So, um, not just, you know, and also, you know, trail cam tips and, you know, what their cameras are doing. So, um, very good, very good stuff there to check out. All right. So day three, um, it was, like we said, it was absolutely brutal. We had a 45 mile per hour wind gust, a steady 25 mile an hour per wind um until about 10 minutes before dark (laughs) yeah (laughs) it went down to like 16 i think um it was like low 30s this morning yeah 31 or 32 this morning with 45 mile wind and then uh so we had moved that stand down to that bottom like we talked about yesterday to get out of that wind we knew that we wanted to hunt today you don't want to miss any days um we're on this new piece we have no idea kind of what's going on and uh it, it was good for getting out of the wind. Yes, it was. Yeah. So we did have a guy about 125 yards from us come in on us. Um, he hunted till 9:30. He said, Ten, "Yeah, 10:30." 10:30. Yeah. And then uh, we we stayed there till noon, and then we got down. We went back to where we had seen the buck and the doe. We had the wind, and the wind was supposed to calm down, mm-hmm. but it wasn't 45 mile an hour gusts like this morning. It was just a steady 25. So we made a huge trek. We found some incredible sign that we almost set up on. Yeah. But we felt like if we set up on that sign, we would have seen the deer this morning if they hit it. You know what I mean? Um, From where we were setting this morning. And we didn't. So we ended up passing that, went up to where we had the rutting activity, and we seen a small buck and a a doe, and that was it Mm -hmm. all day. Doe was running. The doe was running. Running. Yeah, 200 yards. I'm like, okay, here we go, something. Yeah. Something behind her, but nothing. Um, And actually, when we got back to the truck, we talked to that guy that walked in on us, him on us, us on him, whatever way you want to take it. But I'm glad that we didn't set up on that sign then. You know what I mean? Yeah, because he was right there. Because he was right there, basically sitting on top of it. Yeah. 
And, and he's um, seen five deer this morning. They said he's seen five deer. And they were 125 yards away from us that we never seen. Right. And so, um, so he's seen a two and a half year old eight pointer, a five pointer, and a couple well, does. Yeah. And really, up until the sun got up over the trees there, I wouldn't have been able to probably see where they were. And then he said he's seen that eight pointer mm -hmm. that we seen yeah. there in the afternoon. And, um, you know, like there's no way I'd have been able to see him. So, yeah. and then, um, also another reason we didn't set up on that sign is because the wind was swirling, swirling yeah. crazy down there. It was like basically a T intersection. You got the Creek running, you know, one way, and then we were off the, the draw going the other way. And it just kind of met right there. And for some reason, as steady as that wind was, I mean, that's about as steady ass wind as you can get, you know, 25 Northwest. And um, it was when it was gusted. When it get up there high, I think it was hitting that opposite ridge and and coming back. Yeah. So that, I mean, that was just something we we're taking into account because we we're standing there and it was like coming from the east, and then it was going south, and then it's back north. I mean, it was doing all kinds of stuff there. So we're like, well, I mean, we could we can scout this and you know save it in the memory bank, but we're not gonna be able to hunt it today. And um, we're like, we just need a good steady south wind to be able to come in here and hunt. So. We know where that buck was laid up, you know, at least. Yeah. So, Got a good idea of where some buck bedding is now out there, bunch of sign. Um, we're learning. Every day we're out there, we're learning. Uh, but now we get to go to the good stuff. <laughs> have you seen that much sign? Like, No. I, even on even any property I've been on, I've no, not seen I that much seen sign. That much in that, sign. Even in that short little distance, man, I mean, it is just Yeah. There's incredible. ground scrapes everywhere. We've probably seen 25 ground scrapes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, you know, and you're talking 800 yards. Yeah. I mean, max. Just, yeah. Just ground scrape, ground scrape, tree shape, just everywhere. And then there's like a group of five together, a group of three together, two absolute mega giant ones that yeah. look like they've been worked every hour, but we were just setting, you know. I mean, I guess that eight pointer could have worked it this morning. It could have. We couldn't see it from there, but we didn't yeah. know they were there. You know what I mean? We went yeah. over there and hung that stand and rolled out, but. That was a. That was a. I wouldn't say critical, but I mean, it was a kind of a tough decision to make because like, man, it, was, it looks pretty hot. Like there was no leaves in it, you know, it looked damn fresh. And eventually we just went with our gut. Like, you know, we've talked about that on here quite a bit, yeah. but you know, we just went with our gut and both of our guts said, go back to and get up on the top where you guys have been the last two days and seen. It'd have been, bucks. It's, it was the most work, you know, it, that's yeah. a long ass ways away. Two ridges over, further pack out to get to the truck. Because mm -hmm. we took everything out, and now we're going to a different property tomorrow morning. So uh, the game plan for tomorrow morning is we got a southwest. Yep. And it's going to be 22 in the morning and then like 58 by midday. So we're getting into some hot weather. Um, it'd be cool for you guys to, to you know, listen to what we were seeing because i don't know what to expect middle of the rut hot it's gonna be slow i'm assuming you know what i mean but we'll see what happens um we are in the stuff tomorrow mm -hmm. we're in the best stuff we got you know what i mean we're on the edge of the best stuff we got we can't get yeah. into the best <laughs> best stuff because the wind's southwest you know what i yeah. mean so oh shit that carabiner's in my pocket oh my all right so <laughs> right here Gee, was it buried or just I don't know. sitting there? Must have just been sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Checked every damn pocket yeah. with that one. So today was the day to lose shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Homie yeah. lost his thumb release at the truck. I'm not even hunting, and I lose my release. Yeah. I packed in my pants because I didn't want to get in too hot, and uh, I had my release in there from hunting yesterday, and... I just threw them through the straps of my book bag, and then I pull out my glove after sitting in the stand for like an hour and a half, pull out my glove, and I'm like, Mom, I don't feel my release in there. I'm, I'm looking at the ground. I got a binocular out looking on the ground. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, dude. So I turned around to go to say, hey, uh, I'm pretty sure I lost my release. Yeah. That was a nice, nice bit of luck when we got back yeah, to the Yeah, so it was just laying right there. Don't, the last place it could have been before it was There was, what, four trucks when we got out? Uh, one, yeah. two, three, yeah, four. And we and we got out late. Yeah. We had to take down the stands, pack everything up, hike all the way out. Right. So I don't know if there's some people there that rolled out before us, but anyway, so the new spot, this is a spot we never hung in this tree before. 
No. We scouted it, prepped the area. We have a mobile cam back there, and it's like five or six shooters been on cam mm-hmm. through October. So Yeah, that cam got set up on the 14th or 16th. 16th, 16th yeah. of October. So 15 days, there's been like six shooters mm-hmm. back there, and most of them repeatedly back there. Mm-hmm. Like the Tall Tide 10 has been back there like six times. You know what I mean? Uh, nothing daylight, though, correct? Just that. Uh, um, just the mediocre bucks. Okay, yeah. The borderline bucks. And the, yeah. the tall 10, the tight one? Yeah. Okay. And then a bunch of does. Bunch of <laughs> Well, ones. we ain't shooting no doe back there. No, heck no. 8,600 um, feet from the truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wrong spot to shoot it at. So we have a half-mile bike in. Mm-hmm. And, and then we'll be call, haul, hauling our stands in a kid hauler. <laughs> yeah. And our bows or... I don't think I'm going to take my bow tomorrow. I can't. You don't think so? I don't know. We'll see. See how I feel in the morning. <laughs> and then um, hike across a giant ravine, get back in there, hang. So we will probably start tomorrow. You'll probably leave your house at what, 3.30? Um, I was doing the math this morning, and then I got sidetracked. I was back to 4.15 of being, yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. early. It'll be early. I'm gonna have to so. get up probably at three thirty, and I'll leave yeah. at like three forty-five. Yeah, be early as hell. So, oh, I'm not looking forward to it. Plus so. the drive. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's gonna add some time. It's yeah. not just here. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Well, um, we'll be coming at you tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, hopefully with better news. But, oh. uh, we uh, we did have a lot of people did. You know, we got some messages. Jesse killed from Last Breath. Yeah. Some other guys seen some bucks tonight. We just we just weren't in the game tonight, man. We we put in I told homie, I said the only thing I'm happy about is the amount of work we put in. I'm we, there's literally nothing else we could have done to No to not, kill today. Not in these first three days. We set we set every minute of daylight and and dark this morning except about an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, just moving, yeah. Just moving. You know what I mean? Right. So I mean, you can't you can't do anything but that. You know what I mean? So yep. the deer ain't there. The deer ain't there. You yep. know what I mean? Like. All right. It. We'll catch us tomorrow. Hopefully, we got better news. Get out there, hunt your faces off. We out. <laughs>